number sentences with fractions. We have learned about writing number sentences with whole numbers. So if three friends went fishing and they each caught four fish, we can look at the keywords and know that we have three lots of four in this story. In symbols, this is three times four, which is 12. Now we will look at number sentences with fractions. Let's first look at some keywords for addition and subtraction. If we have more of something, it means addition. Less means subtraction. Take away means subtraction. Added is addition. Shared is subtraction. Another is addition. Removed is subtraction. Gained is addition. Subtract is subtraction. Together is addition. Lost is subtraction. You can see looking at the key words and deciding whether they are addition or subtraction will help us to solve the number story. So here we have a story. It can help if we draw a picture of what is happening. So Joseph left home to go to school. One third of the way there, he realised he'd forgotten his hat and went home to get it. The key words is one third. So on the picture, it looks like this. He then went back home, so travelled another third to get home. That means a number sentence would be one third plus another third, which is two thirds altogether. In symbols, we can write it like this. Let's look at another example. Sandra made a pizza. She took it to school and shared three quarters of it. She brought the remaining pizza home. The key words are the whole pizza and sharing three quarters. Let's think of it as a diagram. Here's the whole pizza. We can represent this as the whole number one. If she shares three quarters, it means they are taken away. So we have less, three quarters, which equals one quarter left over. We can change the word less into minus. So in symbols, the number sentence looks like this. Sometimes it helps to draw pictures to show what's happening and then create the number sentence to match. Now let's look at matching sentences to stories. Here we have one whole minus four fifths. We have to find the correct story. Is it Celia had five cakes and gave away one of them? Celia had a cake, cut it into five equal pieces and gave away four? Or Celia had a cake, cut it into four equal pieces and gave away five? The first story says five whole cakes, give away one. This would be five take away one, which doesn't match our number sentence. The next story is a whole cake cut into five equal pieces. This is fifths, so looks good so far. Then she gave away four, so this would be minus four fifths. Let's just check the final story to be sure. It starts with a whole cake and cuts it into four equal parts. So this is quarters and doesn't match our story. It states giving away five pieces, so it doesn't match our number story. In symbols, this story is one take away four fifths, which equals one fifth. Underlining key parts of the story helps us to decide the matching maths. Let's try another. Here we have three tenths plus five more tenths. Is it Sam had three equal parts of a cake left over he then cut them into five equal pieces. Or Sam had three books and bought five more. Or Sam had a cake cut into ten equal pieces. He put three pieces into a cake box and added five more pieces to the box. The first story says three equal parts of a cake. This doesn't actually even tell us how many parts make the whole, so we don't really know what fraction this means. If he cut those pieces into five equal parts, they are fifths, but this doesn't really match our story. The next one says three books and five more. This is just three plus five, so doesn't match the fraction aspect of the story. Next, we have a whole cake cut into ten equal parts, so this means tenths. He put three pieces into a box and adds five more pieces. So this one matches our story. 
In symbols, it looks like this. Understanding fraction stories, like riding a bike three quarters to the shops and then home, being able to draw a representation of it, like the picture here, and then being able to write it in symbols, is important for understanding real-life problems with fractions.